Bedell was founded by Kip and Susan Bedell, who were among the early pioneers in the Long Island wine growing region. And their success in the 80s and the 90s led to great critical acclaim and worldwide prominence for this young, upstart wine region. The region gained the attention of Michael Lynn. He wanted to buy a winery and he looked all over the world, but he decided to buy one on Long Island because he believed in the world-class potential of the local vineyards. A friend of mine took me out, this is probably, I'll say eight, seven or eight years ago, to the North Fork of Long Island. And we went around during a day, visited uh, several of the tasting rooms, tried some of the wines, and I was, um, I, I was really impressed with how then the quality of the wine was so surprisingly good and how much the region was dedicated to vineyards. Out here in the East End, we're surrounded by water, which moderates our temperature here. We also have very sandy loam soil that's very well drained and the largest amount of sunshine in all of New York State. Those combination of things really make an ideal grape growing area. At Bedell, we're committed to producing world-class wines. And we've invested heavily in new technology, in building a state-of-the-art winery, and bringing in world-class talent. We're very excited to have Rich Olson Harbick as our winemaker. Michael Lynn is uh, very much um, involved with modern art. He brought me on board to be a creative force uh, at Bedell. And my approach has always been to kind of come to a special place between the natural and the creative. Because a lot of what we do at Bedell is part of a natural process. We're actually allowing a lot of environmental conditions to express themselves in the wine. Rich Olson Harbick is currently in his 30th vintage making wine on Long Island. His philosophy is based primarily on a natural winemaking approach using indigenous yeasts and minimal intervention. Well, yeasts are the one-celled organism that changes sugar into alcohol. Most wineries will use a commercial strain of yeast. I really feel strongly that using indigenous yeast gives us the most sincere and pure expression of the flavors of our terroir. There's a lot of aromas and flavors from plants that are native to this part of the country. Chamomile, apples, violets, wild strawberries, cherries, and so on. And especially a saline minerality which we see in a lot of our white wines in particular. We want people both in New York State, New York City, and around the world to appreciate what we're doing. We believe what we're doing here is very special. At Bedell, we put an awful lot of time and effort into the vineyard, hedging and leaf pulling, to open up the canopy, to let the sun get into the grapes so that we can bring up to the winery the best grapes that we can absolutely produce. What we do in the winery, we pick most all of our fruit by hand. We sort all of our fruit on a sorting table, so we want to see every single berry that goes past us and they are transported via an elevator to the tanks, which are open top tanks. Again, this is a very unique part of our operation. A lot of wineries are transporting these berries at this time through pumping. The whole berries themselves are inside of a tank and they're going to ferment all together and work as an infusion, taking the color and the flavor and the aroma out of the skins, out of the pulp, around the seeds, to make a really beautiful wine. Every year there are different growing conditions, the weather changes, there are all kinds of imponderables. But year in and year out, we seek to minimize vintage variation so that every year customers can come to expect a great product from us. We work every year at improving our practices both in the vineyard and in the cellar, and we try to invest ourselves in creating new ideas. Blending is really where the art comes in. We've seen that blends, white and red, can be the most expressive, the most aromatic, the most flavorful wines from this particular region. Now, there are three blends in particular which have been very popular with both the critics and the consumers. Uh, Taste, Gallery, and Muse. All three wines feature special artist labels with works of art commissioned by the owner, Michael Lynn. Blended wines really free us we can create something totally unique to Bedell that no one else is doing. Wine Spectator magazine has awarded a 91 point rating to Muse, our flagship red wine, and named one of the world's top 10 hottest brands by Wine Business Monthly. Anytime anyone makes a wine that scores a 90 or more with a well-known publication, that makes people sit up and take notice. It kind of shows that the efforts are, are, um, are paying off. 
We brought together elements of art and science and agriculture, and we've created a place, we've created an atmosphere, we've created a product that people can enjoy, and that's really why we're in the business. I'm hoping that people will say, well, I'm going to a very special occasion. I want to bring a Long Island wine. What's the best that you could recommend? And I want the answer to always be Padel. Bringing this team together with this world-class facility and backing it up with the support and the passion of our owner, Michael Lynn, we are raising the bar for quality wines on Long Island. At Padel, we're perfecting the art of wine.